All right, so today we're gonna to talk about Highland Warrior Wildcat. Is she good? Hey guys, come and join us at twitch.tv slash teamvash. We stream 18 plus hours a day and we're the most active Save the World streamers on the planet. So come and join us and be a part of the team. <laughs> you garbage. This is the most pathetic piece of trash character in the history of the game. This is top five. For, no, this is tied for first place with absolutely zero value, total trash, puke, vomit, piece of burn this in a fire character. What on earth were they thinking when they made this trash bag of a hero? This is an embarrassment. Pull the pin is the most pathetic ability ever made, ever. It is tied for number one with doesn't do anything. This is like right up there with Warcry, most Warcry abilities. Basically, doesn't do anything. Has zero impact, zero value, zero, just anger. Anger is what I feel when I read this. This is how I feel. This is how I feel. Ugh! So gross, man. Who made this? Who is responsible for making this piece of trash? In what universe does energy cost matter on a grenade? Are you out of your mind? What? What? Oh my god. Oh, I, I don't even have words, man. I don't even know. I don't even know. This is ridiculous. This is, this is an embarrassment to video game design. And whoever made this should be embarrassed and never work again. Anyway, so moving on to why she's not so great. Uh, this is Pull the Pin. Miss Highland Warrior Wildcat. She's pretty terrible. Uh, she's got an ability that decreases the energy cost of grenades. As if that mattered at all. <laughs> Which it doesn't. I don't know if you've used grenades on a hero before, but you pretty much can't run out of energy. I don't know in what universe you would manage to actually run out of energy. Especially on a character that doesn't have any way to generate grenades faster. It's just, yeah, it doesn't, it's just a normal grenade character. Like default trash grenades that you get once every 25 seconds, just like everybody else. And at best, you can have one extra grenade in your support. Wow. Wow, guys. Whoa. -ho. Woo. Oh, get excited. This is the new best character in the game, guys. Uh, not, said no one ever. Yeah, so honestly, this could be decreases frag grenade energy by 100% and it would mean absolutely nothing. This could be, this, this ability could read as every time that you use this ability, you automatically refill 100% of your energy and it would still have no impact on the game at all. It would be completely, absolutely worthless. Energy does not matter, especially on this character. The only time I've ever had energy problems ever was on a ninja with really short cooldown spammable abilities like Crescent Kick and Dragon Slash and a Ninja Stars all in the same character. But my god, this is pathetic. So anyway, pretty bad, pretty bad. So she's got Frag Grenade, Warcry, and Shockwave. At least she's got Shockwave, that's good. Shockwave and Warcry are pretty solid abilities. Uh, Warcry you use whenever you need to kill a bunch of monsters or a mini boss. Just like, hey, everybody get together. They all come together, they pop the Warcry, everyone gets a huge boost and wipes out whatever you need wiped out for 12 seconds. Shockwave is just a great ability that allows you to smash the ground and kill a bunch of stuff. Incidentally, probably doing better than your grenades will, even though your grenades are heavily upgraded with your support team. Yay! So anyway, let's talk about the support slots. Um, if you're going to use this embarrassment of a character, which, by the way, i got to say one nice thing about this character. Beautiful skin, man. Look at this thing. Isn't that gorgeous? What an outfit. It's a, it's, a, it's a travesty that this character sucks so bad because this is some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful design work. Look at that. Look at that armor. Look at that shield. Just everything. Everything except for her dead eyes and that creepy smile. Ugh, freaking me out. 
<laughs> anyway, that is some wicked armor though, man. Wicked armor. And you don't have to look at her creepy dead-eyed face when you're looking at the back of her cool braided hair. So anyway, uh, moving on to the team perk. Team perk's a no-brainer. Obviously, you're going to be using keep out for the soldier. Uh, for each soldier that you have, uh, your grenades get stronger. Uh, this basically leaves an energized area doing damage over time to anybody that walks into it for six seconds. Pretty great. Uh, the base radius is, uh, you know, a little bit and then increases based on how many heroes that you, or soldiers you have in your in your lineup. So it ends up being a nice little decent area of, of shock, keep out, damage. Um, so as for, for the support team, uh, the support team that I like to run with is uh, just basically everything grenade. Just because, I mean, if you're going to run with a trashy grenade character, you might as well use all the grenade stuff. This is, I mean, you're never going to use this character. Let's be clear. You are never going to use this character outside of like some wanting to play a meme. <laughs> this is the worst version of a, of a, the worst version of a grenade character that you could ever build. So disclaimer, but we put all the grenade stuff on here. You've got your cluster bombs with, uh, with demolisher Jonesy. Uh, this makes it so that your grenades explode, dealing a bunch of little mini grenades pop, 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 all around, doing energy damage in a in a you know 0.5 radius, whatever, kind of pointless. Uh, you got your master grenade Ramirez and her uh, her 50% larger frag grenade radius. It's okay, I guess. It's not bad. Uh, you've got your grenade damage on undercover Vaughn. Uh, this is the only good one, really. Oh, well, not the only good one, but this is the best one. 36% enhanced grenade damage. Awesome. Awesome. If you wanted to actually run a good, canary, uh, good grenade character, he would actually be the one that you're going to look at. But as a support slot bonus, you're going to get 36% bonus damage on your grenades. Uh, last but not least is the Rucksack, which you kind of have to take. You know, Battlehound Jonesy gives you plus one frag grenade charges, which, you know, I mean... You're trying to use more grenades, right? To try to use make use of that introduction. It's impossible. There's no way. It just doesn't make any sense. So anyway, you can use Hercules here. I mean Battlehound Jonesy. And uh, get one extra max charge for your frag grenades. So uh, last but not least, I put the survivalist in there just so that you don't die. It keeps you regenerated. keeps your health flowing. Uh, awesome ability. I use him pretty much on every single character forever. Survivalist Jonesy is a champ. Champ. So yeah, and that's it. That is your, your loadout for Highland Warrior Wildcat. Is she good? Ha <laughs> ya garbage. She is a, uh, a completely, absolutely garbage tier class. I, 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 oh man. This is about as garbage as a character possibly gets. This character is some next level trash. Her special ability is that her, her grenades cost less energy. It's like, who cares? Who cares if you have cheap grenades? Look at my, look at my, look at my, like, it doesn't even use energy. Like, who cares? When do I ever need energy? When am I ever, like, so hurting for energy that cheap grenades matter at all? Like, when was the last time you used, used a grenade character and you're like, man, I wish I had, I wish I could throw more grenades because, well, no, not even that. I wish I had more energy. It's not even more grenades. It's not more grenades. It's cheaper energy cost which is like so so much worse oh god i hate this character just with every fiber of my being i hate this character this is the most trash bag character this is like this is in the top five for most worthless characters ever designed shockwave Get wrecked. At least she's got shockwave, man. At least she's got shockwave. There are actually soldiers in the game that don't have shockwave. True story. It's a sad day for a soldier when they don't have shockwave in their arsenal. You, you'll watch. My, my energy will be at 100% the entire game, pretty much. At no point will I ever be like, Oh man, I wish I had more energy. And that, that'll actually be the, the moral of the story for every soldier ever, regardless of whether they actually have energy cost reduction or not. Energy cost reduction is the most pointless 
ability in the entire game, no matter what class you're playing, no matter what ability we're talking about, there is no worse perk in the game than energy cost reduction. <laughs> Come on, big boy, you want some? Get some! Double reload. And what do you do when you don't want to run out of bullets? Carry two guns. Yeah, it's funny. There's virtually nothing to talk about with this character. This character is trash. Energy has absolutely zero impact on this game, and no energy cost reduction should exist on any on any skill ever. Not for grenades, not for shockwave, not for anything. Not one skill in the game needs or should have energy cost reduction. Ever. 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 That is the dumbest waste of a character imaginable. Which is even more of a, a, a sin because this character looks so darn cool. And no one's ever going to be able to get to enjoy this. Hoorah! Good job, guys. Good game. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, like and subscribe and leave a thumbs up. Comment down below if there's any other reviews you'd like me to cover. Catch you guys next time. So if you like this video, uh, come check us out on Twitch. Uh, we, we Twitch stream 15 to 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, every single morning starting at 9am. Uh, we'd really appreciate the support. Uh, we're working really hard to uh, grow the Twitch channel. So come and check us out. Come, uh, come help us grow and be part of Team Dash. Thanks guys.